Hey guys, it's Kevin here, and today I'm going to be giving some tips and also showing how to stream on Nintendo Switch or other consoles this is apply for, but I'm mainly focusing on Nintendo Switch because that's what I stream on. I won't be focusing on PC because that's a different thing. But yeah, anyways, so number one, tip. This is tips. Make sure you have a good PC to stream and record on because you don't want to have a laggy stream because that can happen if you don't have a good PC. Also, if your internet isn't very up-to-date or very good, make sh you want to make sure it's pretty good. I mean, if you can't fix it, then, then stick to recording at least because you don't want to stream on really, really bad internet because it'll lag a lot. Also, make sure you have headphones plugged in. No one wants to hear your game audio through the mics through your mic and then also the game audio through the capture card because then it'll just be echoey and that's really obnoxious and people will obviously just click off your stream because right? people right when they go on your stream for the first five seconds they judge you but like, it doesn't take that long for them to either like you or not like you it's so short like i'll see people click on and then click off and sometimes i get people who like want me to do something for them like play with them or something and then they just immediately leave <laughs> so yeah and then also Make sure you turn off loud things like the fan or like the I don't know like if your computer's really loud, try and keep center keep your mic away from your computer because no one wants to hear that. But if you can't really help it, you can't help it. But try, try your best. Like don't have your fan blowing into your mic. Also, make sure if like your mic's on a headset or your mic is a stand-up mic like mine, make sure you're not blowing into it. Like if you're this close to your mic and breathing really loudly no one wants to freaking hear that like i see on my thing because i can kind of see the uh the sound and it jump i can see it jumping up on my screen as i'm recording this audio and it just it peaked it's really loud and obnoxious no one wants to hear that so make sure you kind of stay away from that also make sure you close your door because no one wants to hear your parents talking in the other room or your dog barking Sometimes that'll happen, like, because they'll be talking really loudly through your door, but try to close your door. And also, I don't think your parents want to be live in front of people either, or their voice is live. But another thing I'd recommend is stream for at least, try to go for 30 minutes, but I don't, I totally recommend an hour. At the very least, if you, if you need a minimum time to stream, at least an hour. Because if you don't stream for an hour... You're not giving time, if you stream for like 5 minutes, you're not giving time for people to click on your stream and check you out and see if you're worthy of their subscription. You know, you gotta, you gotta just kind of try to stream for an hour. Just try. And if no one clicks on your stream for that whole hour, be patient. It takes a long time for people to find you. I know it took me, I was streaming for a whole month before I had uh, at least one viewer consistently. So no, it took me like a month to get someone to speak in my chat. It took a while. So yeah, make sure that you um that you're patient and keep at it. Be consistent. Don't like stream for a day and then never stream for a year because or even a month. You won't grow that way. You want to be consistent. I know I'm not the most consistent person, but I try to be. I streamed at least twice this week so far. I didn't stream today because I was busy. So, you know, you can't, you can't stream every day. You can't, unless, like, you do it for a living. But I know I can't, because I have to go to school. I have homework, tests, quiz. I have all this stuff. So I definitely cannot stream for a day. For every day. And also, try to be entertaining. Don't just be, hey, guys, uh, playing sport, video games today. You know, I really like video games. They're pretty interesting. I also really like quantum mechanic of uh, physical property. But don't, don't be boring. I mean, unless people, unless, like, you're really interested in quantum mechanical physical properties to complete bs i just made that up then i probably did yeah i did but you know try and be entertaining and if you can't be entertaining or like just really monotone and if like you're really really good at the game you're playing you can get away with it because i think a lot of people would rather watch someone be really 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 freaking good at a game than be um slightly good but really boring so at least try to be entertaining because you got to set yourself apart from other people as well. You can't just be, like, you can't be a clone of someone either. You got to be different. Uh, and that's about all the tips I have. Now, on to how to live stream. Tips aside, first thing you're going to want to do is dock your Switch. You cannot stream in handheld mode. It's, it's You can't. Then, you're going to want to connect an HDMI cord to your Switch. 
I showed in the video. Because, you know, you can't really stream in handheld mode, like I said. Then you're going to want to connect your HDMI cord to your capture card device, which right now I'm connecting to my Elgato, as shown here by the helpful video that I have recorded. Boom. Then, right after that, you're going to want to plug another HDMI cord that goes in from your capture card to your TV. And it should say in or out. You want to plug it to the corresponding HDMI port. Then you're going to want to plug your capture card into your computer so your computer can record it using the Elgato software. And yeah, you plug the USB to your computer. Then you get your mic. I use a Blue Yeti mic. It's $100. It's a good mic, though. I would recommend it for sure. You're going to want to plug that into your computer as well. Or you could use a cheaper mic if you want. Then there's you, you want to stream with headphones. And you can plug them into your mic or your Elgato. I don't know how these work. I just plug mine straight into my monitor, which I would totally recommend. But if you plug it into your mic, you can hear your voice too. So like if there's a bunch of background noise, you can know to turn that off or whatever. And, you, and I'm showing you also plug into your capture card right here. And that's really about it. It's not super, that's the hardware part of it. Now let's get into the software. Okay, so now for the software part. So for a capture card, I use Elgato. So here's the Elgato website. You know, it's Elgato slash gaming slash downloads. I'll put a link in the description. You can download the newest version or older versions. I use an older version just because the newer versions are more for 4K capture cards. And I'm pretty sure that they would screw up my capture card because it's an old, it's pretty old and they would want me to upgrade to the newest one. So I'm not doing that. And I don't really need new versions because all I do is press record and record video and record audio. It's all you really need. It's not that complicated. And then OBS, Streamlabs. And also if you're on a Switch, you don't need a 4K graphics card or capture card because it will not do 4K gaming because it's a Switch. They can't do 4K. Just because it outputs 4K doesn't mean it will be 4K because the Switch cannot output 4K and it won't upgrade upscale it to 4K at all. Maybe it will, but I doubt it. So don't buy a 4K one, buy it an old one. I use the HD60, which gives you 60 frames. I mean, you just want 1080p 60 frames, you'll be fine. And now for Streamlabs, there's the website, and a lot of streamers use it. As you can tell, you know, Stream Sniper, by the way, Ninja. But yeah, it's it's nice. It gives you all the stuff. And then, if you're on Twitch, you can log in, and you could do Twitch or YouTube. If you're on YouTube, you're going to want to use make thumbnails. And if you have Photoshop, I would highly recommend Photoshop, but I don't own it, so I use Pixlr, which is like Photoshop. You, know, you can create images, presets. Make sure you do 720, 1280 by 720. And then you can do whatever. You, know, you can add text. You can do whatever you need to do for your thing, for your, capture, for your uh, thumbnail. But Twitch, you don't need to do thumbnails, so if you're on Twitch, you don't have to worry about it. Now, here's Streamlabs. Here I have a sub goal. This is um, some preset, but I had a donation thing set up, and I'd really like that to pop up. Because I don't want like people to feel like I'm ungrateful for it. So if someone does donate, then I would make sure that's there. And I kept that there because I have no clue how to add stuff onto it. I don't know how to use this very well. But you can add subscriber goals. All stuff and there's a dashboard but i won't go to that because i have paypal and private information pretty sure but yeah if you download presets which they're in themes right here you know there's all kinds of themes you download whatever one you want or you can even like make your own i'm pretty sure but i don't know how to do that you know starting soon live scene and also for my elgato it registered as webcam See if I click on webcam. This my screen that usually shows my gameplay is a webcam. So I just made it full screen. As you can kind of drag it like that. It's pretty it's pretty helpful and really easy to use. So I would totally recommend it. And watch videos on YouTube because I don't know how to use it, so I'm not gonna show you guys how to use it. But then also here's your Elgato device. It you usually don't want it full screen because you can't really access your bar, but actually so it's usually you usually want it like this just because you don't need it full screen. And you can record, capture audio, and you can also stream. Also for streaming, I would recommend that you make this your M your I think it's millibytes per second 
half of what your internet actually is just because um you could because it you, if it's full it lags a lot and you don't want that but yeah that's about it for streaming on switch it's not hard this will also be applied to other consoles i'm just doing switch because that's what i stream on and then for pc there's like i have um the nvidia geforce experience so you know if you press alt z it pops up live streaming and records your screen so it's helpful in that way but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.